Okay, selamat hari raya you guys. Um, so I'm here in Penang right now, and as you all know, raya is a celebration where Muslims come together from all over the states in Malaysia um, to meet their family and friends to celebrate um, the end of fasting. So as you all know, there will be a lot of food and water wastage, and obviously a lot of trash and rubbish involved. So I just want to see if I can live this sustainable lifestyle here in Penang and see if I can actually reduce my waste to the minimum. I didn't bring any any Tupperware with me, so. We'll see how that goes. So let's go. Do you have anything to say on this special day? Samaraya, pada semua warga Malaysia or anywhere you are. One, two, three. It's just a video. I'm getting this for my mom, but unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna eat. But this is a um, some sort of disposable bowl and a plastic fork. So clearly, I can't have this because I, I'll have to throw it away afterwards. So yeah, but this is me curry and it looks really good. It's by my mom though. It's so hot. I got myself a tissue. Hana, this is not sustainable. <laughs> it's so hot. At this rate, I think I'm gonna take like a lot of tissues. And we're back in KL, so <laughs> we get shocked. So I was in Penang for a very short period of time, so we didn't really like celebrate as we used to, like back in the days, like when I was younger. So we were there for like five days, no, four days, three nights. It did make me realize a lot of things though, like how festivities, we do create a lot of wastes from it. It doesn't matter whether if it's like Raya or Chinese New Year or Deepavali or Christmas, like we do create a lot of waste during festivities. So one of the things that I want to point out when I was in Penang that time was that like, okay, I was really trying to be mindful about what I consume and the things that I tend, I would tend to throw away, like for instance, like, okay, if I were to eat the meat curry with my mom, like I would definitely have to throw away that um, bowl and the plastic spoon. And I ended up sharing with my mom. So in a way, I didn't have to get my own bowl. I know that sucks. I mean, it's kind of disrespectful to some people, but like I'm trying to, I'm trying to see how well I can go through like the week without throwing anything. And okay, so that's one. And then I was really mindful about like the cookies that I consume. Like for instance, like you know how some rye cookies, there's like the 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 the, the cookie, the thingy, you know, the the, the holder. And like I was, I didn't consume any of those because I didn't want to throw any rubbish away. So I ended up eating like those chocolate chip cookies that comes in like biscuits. And can you imagine that's only coming from one house? And there's thousands of houses that are hosting Raya that day. So can you imagine the amount of waste that we create from like the whole day at least? And this, and Raya goes on for like a whole month. So, can you imagine? We are creating landfills in a way. So, I, I like thinking about it just mind boggles me because, like, it's just crazy because we create a lot of rubbish and there's no way of stopping it. I mean, it is part of our culture. We just want to make things easier for our lives. Being sustainable, it kind of strips off the fun in everything. Like, you are the party pooper in 
every situation and I understand that entirely because that's how I feel. Living the sustainable lifestyle requires you to have a mindset that disciplines yourself. Uh, my conclusion for um, sustainability during Raya, it has to come from all parties. It doesn't matter if it's the consumer or the producer, like for every part of the people you are you are responsible in maintaining our ecosystem so therefore here are my suggestions of how you can be sustainable during festivities you know those envelopes that you receive if you get Raya I still got Raya this year so thank you for that but like okay for kids out there if you guys receive Duit Raya and if adults you guys receive Duit Raya keep those samples right think about reusing it I mean you don't have you, if you throw it away, what's the point of having such nice envelopes, right? So what I did for the past few years is that whenever I receive a Duet Raya, I would keep the envelope into my drawer and then like in hopes that next in a few years time when I'm eligible to give a, to, to give out Duet Raya, then I would use those samples right instead. I don't want to use new ones because what's the point? You're just contributing more trash. Most importantly, you know how there's a lot of plastic cups, plastic bowls, plastic plates, polystyrene plates, all sorts of wasteful um, utensils that we used to eat from. My suggestion this time would be that, look, use glass plates. Glass plates, reusable cups, Anything that's reusable in your house that I know requires washing up. Okay, this is where every parties are responsible in being involved. So girls and boys, especially boys, if there's an open house, make sure you wash your damn plates, man. I know the girls always do wash their plates, but like boys, y'all need to step up, man. Our world is dying, we just need you to wash plates. That's it. And last but not least is regarding tissues. I am a person who sweats a lot regardless if, I, if I'm in an air conditioned room or outside, especially at the outside, the sun. I sweat a lot and I do require a lot of tissues. So one way that we can combat this together is to have our own handkerchief. And our culture, we don't really use handkerchief that often. I know the Japanese people would always have a handkerchief in their pockets but Malaysians we don't I don't really see people use a handkerchief so maybe we should start using handkerchiefs to avoid using more tissues you know most of my waste I know it comes from tissues so I think that is the starting point for me to start reducing my waste so that's just basically my input on sustainability during festivities and I really really hope that I'm able to you know be better at be more mindful in you know consuming things and not use everything at my own benefit you know not everything has to be thrown away not everything has to be used once so I really hope um, all of us including myself we are able to be more mindful about what we use in the future and as well as celebrating Raya or any other festivities um, gracefully as how we always did in the past so thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoy watching today's video and I'm gonna go play with my cat right now because that's the most humane thing I can think of to conclude this whole video. I'll see you guys. Bye!